previously what? on The Walking Dead. Yes. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid as fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> I feel Sounds bad about that. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Well, they're not getting food from them anymore, so we're not safe. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents... in association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead, Season 1. National Guard orders evacuation of city. Hi, Kenny. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Oh, looks, looks like, like a helicopter crashed into the drugstore. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Jeez, this place has really gone to hell in a few months. Or is this not the same place? It looked like that was the drugstore with the helicopter on it. Lee, yeah. where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's Can dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, okay, that is the drugstore. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Okay. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Right. <laughs> oh. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. Oh, good thing we're leaving soon. How many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Yeah. It's gone. So much for the military. Yeah, it doesn't look like they did what they were supposed hey. to. Yeah. Think we'll find anything? Ain't much left in there. We'll see. Station wagon stuff's not gonna last as long as we thought. No. If we'd hit the road like I suggested, we wouldn't be in this situation. I'm aware. Still sore? I took a bullet to the gut. What do you think? I'm surprised Maybe you're you alive. Stayed behind. I'll be all right. Okay. I'm coming up. Ladder's right there. Wait, wait. There was a pile. Can I can I exit? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Okay. They're gonna move on. There's no safe way through that mess. Aw. Oh. Can't get under it all. Kenny, come on. Careful with your gut. <sighs> Shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, That's okay. Pal. All right, stay put.
Oh, nothing that way. Ah. Huh. Looks like it still works. It's completely flat. Hmm. It's also. Completely flat. Flat. Okay. Nothing in it. Okay. Lily's not doing so good, huh? No, her dad died. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. She wouldn't know. Although, he didn't just have a heart issue like in the pharmacy. He literally, like, just collapsed. Which is why I think he would have turned into a walker, but... That's just my opinion. Okay. What's that? Hmm. Barrel? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. You're very me today. Oh, this is gonna be loud. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I hope not. She'll get there. Thank you. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Which one, Andy Maybe. or Danny? I wasn't sure it phased him. He's a kid. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was. Oh, his Herschel's fault. farm. Can you will remember that? You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Okay. Oh god. Shit. You don't got this. Maybe you should have used your left arm. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. Well, don't yeah, freaking like push it. It wasn't any worse. You could have Oh no. Oh. Somebody help me! Oh god! Oh god! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? No, she's Walkers screaming. Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Wait! It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something! No, oh, too late. Now we can't do anything. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. But then how do we get back? Oh. No! No I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. I feel really bad. But she's also not really. Oh. I feel really bad. I'm making some pretty crappy decisions for you, Kenny. God. I hope this was worth it. God. I'm so sorry. I should have killed her. I should have killed her. I should have killed her. I just didn't want them to chase us. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay. Come on, get it. Get the stuff, 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 get the stuff. Why are you so friggin' finicky? Come on, get it. Okay, move on. Move on. She's gone. There's not much time now. Okay, at least she's out of her misery. No, not that stuff? Okay, moving on.
Come on, get it. Get it. I think that's everything. Okay. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Okay. Over. Can I look there? No? Okay, jump. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh god. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you, Kenny. I appreciate your help. Get going. Oh, don't shoot me. I am pushing the fridge. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's the one that bit her in the neck. Go, 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 go. Oh, hello. Can I do? There we go. Come on. One more time. Oh, never mind. There we go. Is that the pilot from the helicopter then? Oh geez. Let's go, pal. Yep. I don't think we can come back here. Well, I'm pretty sure they said we got everything anyway, so. Back to the Travelier Hotel. Motel. Now well, the Raiders have been attacking because they don't have food from the dairy anymore. Should have brought more than a little backpack. Who are you talking to, Clementine? Your parents? Hi. You're back. And you're wearing I your sweater. I some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Aww. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Okay. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Okay. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. Thanks. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. No. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because There's not enough. An RV with you two. After what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't yeah. it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. Yeah. Great. Right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Apparently. Hey, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. Mm -hmm. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't Those all seem to disagree with Kenny. Cross for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know <laughs> how we got these supplies? Don't. We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? We didn't let her get eaten. Screaming out of an alley, she had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? It was a mistake. We got our supplies, but we should have tried to save her or put her out of her misery. Well, you had Kenny with you, so some options were off the table. <laughs> you should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. No, it's not. Look, I'm sorry, Carly. These people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. A horde? It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. 
I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. I know, Lily. Now, everybody get out. I'm sorry. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Nope. I'm sorry. They're all probably disappointed oh, in me for letting that girl die. Head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Really? Thanks. I needed to hear that. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Mm-hmm. With what was her that? wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. Up to where we killed that girl, or that girl killed herself. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is go talk to Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. That's cool. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Well, I see oh, it. That's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Thank you. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, That's a good plan. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Bye. Okay. Cool. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. A we spat. all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. That's okay. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. I respect yeah. that. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. I know. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Hmm, Gotcha doesn't look very happy I'll about talk that. To you later. Okay. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. Yeah, if you don't grow up there, I why go? Up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. No, I understand what you mean. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... It's okay. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. Good. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. I would be too. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Yeah, that is good. Okay. Where's Doc? Hmm. Let's go talk to Carly real quick. Talk to Lily yet? No, no. Not yet. I will. 
What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Yeah? I think about you too. <laughs> Our group is small. Yeah. You're small. Whoa. Rude. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. <laughs> and I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. <laughs> people need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. I will. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. <laughs> people might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yes. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Is that it? Oh. Thank you. Don't call me small. Hmm. <laughs> You're not really that small anyway. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um... Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. True. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. Okay. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to look into this thing. I'm going good to tell idea. Clementine first. She's my family, and she deserves to know first. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can. Uh, you didn't really say you killed defense. someone. I was hoping. Okay. I guess that's all she really needs to know. She understands what you did. Oh, okay. Good. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just want to know how you're gonna take it before I ask how Kenny's gonna take it. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. Plenty. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> okay, but he is a big guy, and as a, as a walker, he would have been a threat. Like, we didn't know how he was going to get back up. Everything keeps changing. I'm sorry. That was not the way I wanted that to go. Okay, Kenny's turn. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? I'm sorry, gotcha. It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? <laughs> Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No yeah. shit. 
It wasn't so, for touching kids, was it? Oh, oh God. Man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. Well, it's fair. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. It must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. Huh. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Thank you. Oh, that went well. That went better than Katja. I should ask Kenny first. Or told Kenny first. All right. Kenny appreciates your honesty, and I might as well tell Ben. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. No, you're doing great. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, I didn't trust you as much as everyone else. Uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. All right. Ben won't forget that. Okay. Might as well go talk to Lily. It's Lily's room. Yep. Have you had enough space? I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. That's Can I fair. Do anything for you? Haven't you? No. Yes, I could use your help. There's a traitor, somebody, one of us out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Oh. Lily. Counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, oh. anything with opium in it. Okay, so that's not I just knowing. It count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? <laughs> I want you to poke around. Sure. What's I'll there to poke. Go? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Oh, great. Put a lot of pressure on me. A mystery. There you are, duck. Jesus, duck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. Sure. That's Robin. I yeah, know I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. Yes. What do I do? I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. <laughs> Let him be a kid. Okay, Duck will help. I guess we're asking Carly first. I was heading toward Clementine, but... I uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? It was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? No. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. Um, I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She is. She adores you. Don't worry. I am. Uh, Told ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. Well, also, he's part of the group. He I deserves take to it know. He didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. 
Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know yes, it's it broken. is. And the batteries might be in backwards. They might. It uses just one. Oh. Everything should. What was the question? <laughs> Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'll talk to you later. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. no. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Oh? Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> yes! I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. I know. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. Okay. I forgot though. I'll talk to you later. Well, I'll go clean that glass up too. Like, what the frig? Why'd you forget? The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay. Okay then. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, the freezer should be over here, right? Oh, really? I gotta go around the back? Skidel. Oh, what? Where is it then? Where is this broken glass you mentioned? Oh. Oh, we're here. No. There. No! I want to go over there. Are you serious? Oh, it's here. Okay. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Don't touch it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That fits. Can we can we clean up the glass? There's something drawn there. Chalk. Hmm. Pink. Hmm. Mm. A clue. It is. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Okay. You go do that. Clementine has pink chalk. Do, uh... You have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. I just saw it on the table. Do you want blue? There's no, pink right it's there. Okay. Psst, me. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. Okay. I was coming to see him for clues. Yeah, and... duck. I got it. Okay, Good be job. nice to him. There it is. I will high five the boy. Cool. Duck thinks you are an incredibly awesome. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Okay. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> I won't. Okay, I won't. I know why. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's fair. That's probably for the best. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. 
Ah, uh, the wheel ran over it. Huh? Yeah, duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Don't want okay. you getting hurt. Those bandits gave us hell. They've been quiet for days now. I wonder why. There's a grate down there. Lily was right. Son of a bitch. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I have. I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat I mean, you sleep. I guess. Die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? No, that's true. You didn't have to say Clementine. What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Oh, they saw me taking Who their the package. Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your out, there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, well, they're lining everyone up for us. We're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. Okay. You made the biggest mistake of your lives! Okay. Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah. I'm right here. Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? How because did she get up there? It, that's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, Ron! <laughs> Christ! Oh, shit! Run! Good job, Carly. Oh no. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Got right in the right in the ass. Oh man. Oh, that's a lot of them. Get back there! Smoke him out! How is our little freaking motel we gotta get going to help here. you? Oh shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Okay. Oh, come on. There's another one there. Come on, get him. No. There we go. Now, get over here. Hurry. Just, just get in. Come time. Help! Oh my God, the kids. I should have helped them first. Come in time, gotcha. Oh, the walkers are getting in now because of the noise. Oh, got him. Phew. Any more? Got you. Hurry, come on! It's okay, Clementine. I got you. Get the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh, Christ! Come on, guys. Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! No. Put, oh, why is it? Oh, I gotta get the heads. Oh, there was another one. Oh, but she's closer. Oh, okay, you got her. Get the head. Oh my god. There we go. Did you get it, Kenny? Let's go. Last chance, get down here. Are you staying or are you leaving? This place is ruined. Yet yeah, you can't keep the motel anymore. 
Thank God. Okay, let's go. Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Pat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. It's true. We found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly. What? Is there something you want to say? It was Please. obviously Ben. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Why are you whoa, going whoa, against whoa. Carly? You're just pointing fingers. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Lily. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote on what? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mis- Lily, stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know what we I found. Know, I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? It was Look, just I've Ben. I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Why do you Look, want to implicate Carly so bad? I didn't do it, but I don't like this. You did I don't do like it. where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Oh, shit. What's going on up there? Kenny, pay attention to the road. We gotta Fucking stop. drive. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. I don't like this. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Yeah. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You got it. I hate that expression. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. No. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. What? Why? I need all these votes. You're the one I who suggested voting. Reason. Trust me, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just it's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Then? You have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Why stop do you want this? us to be Carly? Torturing him. No! Ben! Stop! Ah, this is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There! I got him. Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Pick a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, Lily, no! What's the problem? Drop it. You're broken too. Holy fuck. Penny, what's happening? You duck away from the Carly's windows. dead. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. 
Please. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. No, you weren't. Or you would have killed Ben. I don't have anything left. I know. Whatever. Just get in. You shouldn't have done that, man. That was too far. Mm -mm. Oh, don't give it to Ben. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Pacha needs you for something. I know, I just want to make sure you were okay. What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? What's the plan? You've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. You know that's not going to do anything. Plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. This is worse than Larry. You Don't know. Stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Okay. Is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. I know, honey. What about Carly? She's gone. Gone, but won't come back. Because she was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. My brother almost died once. But he lived? Oh yeah, it was scary though. This one time these boys from the other side of town were hassling him. He was on his bike and they were in a truck throwing things at him. Calling their names, stuff like that. And this tough son of a gun, he, he pedals up after me. Catches him, he pulls his bike up alongside the truck and jumps into the back and starts beating on him. He teaches all three of them a lesson, but the truck's still moving, you see. Just as he stands up to jump out, it zooms underneath a tree and a branch hits him square in the face. He goes flying out the back. Hmm. Anyway, if if he can live through that, I'm sure Duck can live through this. Oh, don't give her that false hope. Oh, what, I can't talk to Lily and Ben? Uh, oh, jeez. No. Clementine, no. Clementine, no. Oh, okay, you're okay. We got something up ahead. Okay. Can I talk to Lily and Ben first? I didn't, I didn't realize. I couldn't do that after. I should have talked to them first, damn it. Damn it. Road's blocked. Now we gotta deal with this.
It's a train. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. No. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. She's tied up. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. I can it's imagine he thing. is. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? I haven't crossed my mind. No. Okay. Um... The door to the boxcar. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. No, that was straight up murder. That's worse than what I did. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. I suppose you think that this is true. Is better? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No. Okay then. You're not. Ben won't forget that. Yeah. Doors closed. Well, let's open it. been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Water for Duck. Looks unopened. Perfect. I'll take this to catch him for Duck. That sounds like class, but it's supposed to be a water bottle. A clipboard. map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got his head. Savannah, where Clementine's parents were. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Shit. Broken. Oops. Okay. Be railed. Yeah, one hand's not gonna do it. Do this. Okay, a better way, but you could still do that. Is there anything around here? No. something inside. A switch. Nothing. Okay. Might be something inside. Oh, a wrench. Spike remover. That's what I need. A spanner and a monkey wrench. But I need the spike remover right now. Okay, we'll keep looking though. Might be something inside. What? Nothing? Nothing? 
No, nothing. Might be something inside. Might be something inside. No, nope, empty. Okay. Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. It's not moving. Yeah, he's... Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. Yeah. Engine startup. Oh, something flew through the mirror and hey, friggin' smashed it, or the window. Back. Christ. Wonder what it was that flew through the window and hit him. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. No, Ben. It's just the brakes. Oh. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. <laughs> we found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead either. Okay. Okay, but we act like Larry was Try dead. Get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and Duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Give him something to do, I guess. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Find a way to read the notepad. Ew. Ew. Okay. Oh, hello. I thought those things were designed to save lives. Kids might like those. Oh, I could smash his head in it. Okay. You aren't gonna like this. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. You are dead. There we go. Smash his head. Smash it again. Are you good? Okay. Get the animal crackers. Thank you. Okay. There's nothing else in the car. It was just the crackers. Cool. That was worth risking my life for. In pretty good shape for a wreck. Okay, I'll give the guys the animal crackers. Talk to everyone, and then go take out the the spike. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? Punish her somehow. She did a terrible thing. Clementine won't forget that. Her. I know she yeah, did. It, it's horrible. It is. It's a horrible thing. That she did. 
killing Carly. Oh, I froze a bit. Okay. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. I just need a pencil. It's really not that hard. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. It's, it sounds like a vodka bottle. He's allergic to bees. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. Yes, his allergy to bees will counteract the... Well, yeah. I don't, but you're probably right. I'm sorry. Does he want yeah, crackers? I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. Katja's gotcha, thankful for your help. Fussy, you know. What? No. Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. He just loves Not to eat. Dark, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. I mean, I told him he was eating human sure. meat. And he still chowed down. He was pretty upset when you took it away from him. So <laughs> if he did live longer, I don't think finding food would be a big issue for him. Have you heard anything out of Lily in there? Not a peep. I'll go talk to her when I'm done that talking to you. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. She did. For no reason. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. Yeah, she's going to be the only kid left in the group, so we got to keep take care of her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. She's just... Yeah, she is. She doesn't Carly. express her emotions. Where did yesterday go? In the past, unfortunately. I don't know. Yesterday's history. Tomorrow's a mystery and today's a gift. I know you were fond of her. I'm used to it by now. We all are, aren't we? She murdered her, Lee. I was there, Kat. I'm not saying I'm used to murder. I'm saying I'm used to losing people we care about. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I was used to... Okay. I was stuck. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? His body yeah. is trying to fight the His infection. He's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. 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 Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Is Ken all right? What is he doing? He's Checking putting out his mind to figuring out the train. Yeah, the train. What about you? Same thing, sort of. I found some instructions, but I can't read them. Oh. Well, I'm sure someone can help you. Hmm. Okay, we'll go check out Lily. Have any thoughts about it? No? Just gonna make an expression of deep thought and disgust. Okay, first we're gonna check out the console. Benang. Oh, pencil. pencil. Perfect. Sharpened too. Perfect. That's what I need. No, I'm not done. Oh, hi, Lily. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. What? You know, oh. you did what you did for a reason, and part of me understands. But the other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. Well, you killed Carly, so I think we're even. Also... Okay, I was- I told her to go anyway. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! It's not like we're gonna use it. We can't take it with us on the train. Come back here, you crazy bitch! I'm sorry, Lily. Fuck! Stop! No. Uh, we have the train. We don't need the RV. I got a pencil from there. I probably should have rummaged around before grabbing the pencil, though. Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. We can sleep in the car, the train car. That'll probably be good defense. Lucky's still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. I know. Okay, let's go take that spike out, I guess. Well, wait, can I ask Clementine to do it? No. I'll do it after I take the spike out. Or maybe I should get the directions and then take the spike out. I think that's what I'll do.
or not the directions, but the instructions on how to op start the train. You know what I mean. Please know what I mean. <laughs> You can read it now? Yep. Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. All right, 6599. Nine. I have to get the spike off first anyway. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Oh, I was going to go do that. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. I got it. All right, I'll go do that now. And then I'll start the train, and then we'll be on our way. Fasterly. We've got people to take care of. Walkers to avoid. Definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. Um, what? But I have the pin remover. Oh, that's so stupid. It's stuck. We need a so bunch need... of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Wait, do I have to like start the train? Pull it forward? Okay, I'm gonna try doing that first. See if when the train tries to move away from the derailed part, if that breaks it free, and then remove the spike, I guess? Alright, what were those instructions? How do I, how do I pull those up again? No? And there's no way to pull it up? Um, the first one was nine. I don't see a number. Uh, nine, okay. Okay, six. The first one was six. So down, down, up, 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 down, up. Nine, eight, seven, six. Right? No. This must be six, son. No. This is where the tools are. Monkey wrench and a spanner. And neither of those are going to get the, um, uh, the parts off, I don't think. So... Where is six? Where where is six? Is that inside? Yes. Okay. Here it is. We want number six. Oh wait. Yeah. Down down up 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 down up. So down down up up. Down, up, down. Okay. Five needs to be uh, horizontal and vertical. Can I, can I just move to the next one? No. Okay. No, no, Lee. Lee, I wanted you to look at five. Right there. Okay, can I just go over then? Why aren't you letting me... I'm so confused. Was it up, down, up? Did I get that mixed up? It is up, down, up. That's why it's wrong. I'm bad with remembering patterns. Okay, now... Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. good. You have no idea if this is accurate to real trains or not, but... Horizontal and vertical. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. And then we go outside to this next one. Turn it one way and then turn it the other way. Got it. Oops, wrong way. No, that was wrong. Left and then right. I wasn't, I did, I didn't notice there were two arrows. I just thought it was spin it. Okay, one way. And then the other way. Holy shit, we're golden. Now let's try to move the plane, or train. 
What about Duck? What about him? Look, you keep kid, saying that. That's something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. How did you hear Let's Cat? Fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that to get the rust out of the derailed section anyway. So I can remove the spike. It's all yours. Yay. Which one? That's the throttle. Oh, I'm glad you know. There we go. Damn it. Of course. Thank you. We're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? I know where we're yeah. stuck. I just needed the, the rust to be removed. Do you want to talk? Okay. What's up? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. Okay, but we knew Nobody Larry wasn't going to be fine. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. You're worried. You're just ignoring sorry it. Sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, maybe it turns out she did us a favor. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, okay I can get us unstuck, so... Speed walk! Come on. Over to the spike. This should be good. Oh, no. There's gotta be a better way to do this. There we go. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. I don't know if you heard me. He, he turned his head, but I don't know if you heard me. I can get it over there. Yeah, you can. You touch what? any of my stuff? Uh, water. Hi. I touched water. I'm sorry. Oh, and the map. The map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. That's fair. Probably the only thing you have to read, right? No worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. I'll call Wait, you Charles. That your crew outside? I'm fancy. Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. Mm -hmm. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? You might have died. But I couldn't force myself to do it. Uh. -huh. You're That's still kind of freaking me out. Brain folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. That's fair. He probably didn't sneak up on them all ominously like that, too. Although Kenny's probably the only one that would shoot you on sight. You met Chuck. I did. Yeah. I did. It's so nice oh, to he has a guitar. normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. <laughs> Any other time, that would be suspicious. Ben's like, oh, yeah, I took candy. He looks so embarrassed. All right. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's mm. for certain. Oh, honey. Did the water help at all? I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. He's not. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on uh, Stay Okay, with us. Kenny. We'd like the company. Yeah, we just lost two. We could use one more. And we lost our two good sh good shots. It's me and Kenny left. Not exactly a great situation. Oh, Clementine's smiling. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. Taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Good. Brain's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Yeah, but it'll be fun once it's moving. Don't worry, hon. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. 
What do you think? You could be helping. I don't know why you're not. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. I know. We're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar safe enough to sleep in. That's what I said. Better get back to it. Have you ever read the Boxcar Children? It can make a wonderful home. I loved that book. Hey, Chuck. Series. Mommy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Ah, uh, so you were homeless before this all started. So you were already used to living off the land. Why not? Seem to be doing all right. It's always good to have help. Fine then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. Probably feeling lonely after a while, huh? You caught us on a bad day. A very bad day. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. Well, the other one's dying, so... That's okay. some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Hope so. Okay. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Well, yeah, anything that we didn't leave in the RV. Want to ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Yeah. I not find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Boxcar children! That's Broken sick. blue teacup. Get on yes, the train, he is. Clementine. Hey. She's acknowledging the obvious. Don't be a dick. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Yeah. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. Stop it, I'll Kenny. Be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. This isn't good. Duck has never been so quiet before. You know he's not getting better. That's the throttle. Yes, it is. I don't know why Kenny couldn't do it, but okay. I know, buddy. You gotta talk about it. We should probably close at least one of the doors so no one falls out. I know, Duck. Dot. There, it's gone. No one is happy right now. Am I supposed to hit the rectangle thing that was over there? Hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. He feels disrespected. <laughs> there were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, living got him. Yep. Lee, Lee, I need you right oh, now. Oh, baby. I need you. You poor thing. Me. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Of course. You don't want to let him go. Can I? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Absolutely, honey. He's dying. We've got to stop He's the train. Out of time. We need to stop this train. I agree. Okay. Please. I will. Let me just go tell everyone what's going to happen. I'm going to go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. She doesn't really feel like talking yet. I'll get this train stopped right quick. You know what's happening. I understand. Stop you shouldn't have train. said you'd get better then. Stay put. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's go. Go. 
Thank you. Kenny, you gotta stop the train, bud. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. He's not a little sick. A scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Like we made Larry worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not, not... like that. The no. Fuck it isn't. You couldn't save Herschel's son then? And you can't save Duck now. Shut your mouth! So you're running like a coward. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I don't want to fight him. No. Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Duck doesn't need you! I'm not gonna... Okay, can I reload the last save? No. Main menu. One second. I wanted to talk to him, not fight him. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. That's what I meant. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. I you thought you would have been more guilty about Larry than a bad thing happened Sean. to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. And That's someone's not father. The way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. You convinced Kenny to stop the train. That's what I was trying to do the first time. That's why I restarted, because it's not what I intended to do. I thought that it was like, oh, you think that you couldn't save Sean and Duck. Like, you couldn't save Sean and Duck, and now you're feeling guilty. But instead, I called him a coward, and that's not what I meant to do. So I wasn't, I wasn't accepting that as my choice. He needed to feel and accept what's happening, not just fight. I'm so sorry, Katja. And it's... I think it's time. I know. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. I think that he knows. What do you need? I... I... Katja. It's time to... This is not possible. I know. He's your little boy. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? And he's turning. I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... He's, he's not even... Come on, Kat. Like, he's getting sicker. One. You let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? I wish there just was. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. The Fuck. violence of it. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No it should never be apparent. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Of course. I'm not, like, Lee excited to kill your son, but I'm not going to force you to do so it. Clementine doesn't have to see. Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Of course. Oh, honey.
I'm so sorry. What's happening? It's time to say goodbye to Duck. Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? Making sure he doesn't come back. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Clementine will remember Cle your honesty. Things are... What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. No. I'm so sorry. She couldn't do get, it. Get! Gotcha! Oh, poor Duck had to watch his mom kill herself before Why? he dies. Get. Honey. Oh, fucking God. I'm so sorry, Kenny. <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you... She couldn't... She, 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 oh, 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 fuck! She couldn't say goodbye. I'm so sorry, Kenny. You go back to the train. No, Kenny. No. What do we do? You go. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I'm not putting you through any more grief than you have already gone through. I'm so sorry, Doc. It was wonderful to know you, my Dick Grayson. You will be remembered, Ken Jr. Mm. Kenny shouldn't have watched. That wasn't what the plan was. You chose to do it yourself. I'm so sorry. He lost his whole family in a day. He lost everything. I'm sorry, Kenny. That was rough. <sighs> Hi, honey. You want to talk? Uh -uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. She doesn't have to be told. What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. No what? The fuck he did. Swear. Son, I took some sense into him. Don't be mm -hmm. mad. I'm mad. You, you don't get to be told that. Hey. How you doing? Not so great. I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Oh, she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, 
You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. He's you got a point. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look that's at fair. her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. It's already Find happened some before. Scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. Okay. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It is. It's something. I was mad, but you make sense. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry oh, to wow. hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Oh, okay. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I understand. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Mm. Got any? No. Not on me. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. Couldn't make his you parents do it. it. Although Kenny could have Be turned around here. or something. You betcha. Okay. Hey, Kenny. It's oh, he took the picture down. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Hey, man. You and me, we. Let's just get to the ocean. Okay. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. I just talked to Charles and it's not the best plan, but... Hey. Yeah? I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I I'm appreciate sure that. Pat. Be, uh, okay with you, so forget it. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, now I have to ask about the maps. I'm sorry. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Can I? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Hey, Ben. Can't talk to you? Oh, I can. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Charles. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's mm -hmm. not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. Guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. One of them yeah. was a good shot. One of you was helpful. The door to the boxcar. Yes, it is. Well, there's the alcohol that Charles wanted. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Me too. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. A fifth of whiskey. A fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. Okay, I'll go give him the booze. Pardon me. Thank you.
Hey, Charles, I found some whiskey. You want it? It was yours originally anyway, so. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank it's a fifth you. of whiskey. Want a nip? Sure. You shared a drink with Charles. Or Chuck, sorry. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Kenny well probably does. Everyone else is too young. It's full of maps and. Documents. No, I went to Kenny. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. I hope so. Although I feel like it's just making more aggressive, but whatever. Okay. Anything else around here I want to look at? No. Okay. Thanks. Uh, just just had a swig. That's fair. Maybe I should have talked to him. I don't know. It was me. Oh, Ben. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. Yeah, I know you were. What? You didn't speak this whole time. Why are you talking now? It's all my fault. It is your fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Well, they could have just started with the threatening to kill all of us. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything I guess. else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. No. I guess not. No. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You bet. Kenny will kill you. See ya. Like kill yeah. you. Oh, okay. All right, time to teach Clementine survival of the the apocalypse. Hey, did you talk to him? I, I did. did. He had some. Uh, he explained himself and made some good points. So I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, I'm gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. No. Uh -huh. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. I know you do. He's just young. Doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. You make the best choices. What a crappy day. Crappiest. Uh huh. Three months ago, I don't know what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You would have. Damn near starve with me. I'm glad I came with you. Hmm. Thank you. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll mm -hmm. get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? 
when you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? Yeah. Oh, just for a quick second. Oh. I found that if I did that, it was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I, I was wrong. I don't use okay. guns. I have used a BB gun. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I know. I don't like this. I I'll know. Stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Bit to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Good job. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Good job. There you go. Nice. I love these bottles that just keep appearing. Charles clearly does like to drink. No, nope, stop locking your elbows. Good job. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. Yeah. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. Hey, Clint. You got Clementine to protect Hi. yourself. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. City could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. Me too. Yeah, good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. And, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Mmm. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. And we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. Hopefully the name will really reach out to you. Desserts. It's called the M... M Starts with an M? Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! The Marsh House. We'll Perfect. There. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Of course. Sure. Go ahead. Hey, Clint. Hi. You're not gonna like this. So you're probably not gonna like this. No. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. Um. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? <laughs> no. <laughs> Because it does, mm. kinda. Well, it's hard to keep your hair from smelling you gross when you don't have a shower. St. John grabbed it, and I got mad. Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? Yeah. I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry, honey. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. And eventually we'll learn to style it. Do you know how to do this? 
Nope. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Um... It still matters, I think. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Yeah, now it's okay. But back then jail. I didn't have to. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Awesome. Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Aw. I'm sorry. There, all set. Aw, that's cute. I like that. Oh, she doesn't. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I'm so sorry, honey. You're losing so much today, too. You look good. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. Clementine's hair is a lot safer now. Set. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! Oh jeez. Jeez, yeah, that would have sucked if we had run into it. Fuck, 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 fuck! It's okay, we'll figure it out. Maybe we could walk? That's fucking no. stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. Things it's a gas. Full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's going to explode. You got to get a hold of yourself. This is a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that, and you're going to get your face chewed off. Hi. You guys going to be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Fair. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. I understand. You're all aggresso now. Leads up to that wrecked tanker. And it's not gonna break. Last ladder I went on broke. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Mm-hmm. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! I just told you what a kid died. Up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Swear. Clementine. Oh, oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? How do it's you that know? Obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I didn't I get that far. Didn't make it that far. Yeah. And everybody down there, they're cool? 
Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd okay. appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay. I'm gonna look up here for a bit. It's empty. Okay. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Yeah, but maybe there's something left behind that we need we could use. Oh. Or not. Oh, tape. Maybe I could use the tape. No? Yes, take That's the tape. That's about the only useful thing in here. That's what I thought. Empty. That's what I figured. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Hmm. Oh, oh. Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. No. I don't think it did. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? No, I'm just making sure I don't miss anything. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Come on, Clementine. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? No. Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. Oh. And why don't I show you how this thing works? In case I'm something sorry, happens. Kenny. Really, kid? It's probably for the best. Okay. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Okay. Great. Let's do this thing. Um, do I want to talk to somebody first? I'm glad someone's managed to keep their spirit. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't touch it, jackass. Ooh. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups. And I'm a fucking scrapper. <laughs> I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. Sometimes. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me. Yeah, maybe don't kill him already. Driving shifts. We'll see. How long since you've been home? Break. Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. <laughs> Teaching him anything? Trying to. Cool. Okay. Anything down here? No, nope, can't go that far. I'm assuming. Nope, I can. Nope, I can't. This way. New, new. Hello, ladies. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. Good. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Careful. 
She's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting guns? She has Look, to. I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Good. I don't like the tone you use, though, but... Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. Mm -hmm. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for. Huh? I'm gonna say. Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway? <laughs> other than old white guys. Oh, no. Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. Okay, sorry. If you gonna be around for a while? Be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Okay, just curious to know what's going on. Krista didn't appreciate you prying into her business. Well, okay. Maybe I should check out that train station. Yeah, I'm going. Can I follow you over there? You don't um, like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. You're right. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Everton and Skultz. Okay. Somebody was doing some painting. I guess so. Macabre imports. Uh, Ray Brand Auto Parts, making GA 1931. Oh, no, I don't want to walk back over there. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. We have to be prepared. I can't see in there. <clears throat> mm, won't but. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Nope. windows open up there maybe I could look in okay why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there sounds good oh maybe I should have <gasps> talked to her first oh well okay I can see in what do I do now what do you see lots of crates and stuff Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For now real? that we have time. I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her real quick. You okay? Uh huh. Okay. I can't see in there. Oh, okay. Just making Let's sure go. there's nothing new. Be careful. We gotta I'm stay lucky. To tell you that. She's adorable. Shipping and receiving. God damn, it's dark in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can hold the door open. Okay. I don't like that. I'll prop it open with some. That works too. Yeah, that's much safer. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. They didn't have much business back then. No. That's exactly what we need. Ah. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Is there anything else before I get the blowtorch? No? Okay. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. I suppose. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. 
We're lucky I'm so little. Again, there we yes. Are. All right, I guess I just pick her up again. Okay. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. What? What? Behind you! Whoa. Oh, jeez. Don't bite me. Get the weapon from the door. 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 Yep, get the weapon. Ah! Xing! Xing! Oh, you couldn't shoot. It's okay, honey. You were too it's scared. Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. It's okay. How do we not notice him? Peace now. No time to look. Fuck, it's still locked. Oh my god, really? Good job. <sighs> god damn. That didn't go so good. No, well, but we're okay. Not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. Hmm. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. Oh, you did. Fine. Killing zombies or walkers. Found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Sorry, we're just that good. You know she's eight already. We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. Okay. It's a good fine. idea. Why do you like her? She's mean. What? Like, look at that. She gives me mean looks. What you're doing with her? My gosh. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. She won't forget that. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay, is there anything else in here that we want? Oh, I guess we can't get anything because his body's in the way. Fine, we'll get the blowtorch. Yeah. Let's go outside now. Yeah, good idea. I'm not ready for a gun. No. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. Or we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Clementine will remember that. There's gotta be something useful in here. Yeah, we found it. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Okay. Wait, should I talk first? Hi, girls. Hey. We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. Well, I appreciate that. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach her to scan the area for things. You two should never be looking in the same spot. That's a waste. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there. Especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. Fair enough. All Be very good advice. afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two. Not six, or eight, or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers. And you shouldn't either. Uh... 
Okay. And I guess those guys are still doing that, so might as well go up with Omid. Okay. Have anything to talk about? Think this will work? Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Okay. I got this blowtorch. Yes, I do. I see no flame. What's up? Any the flames? There's a leak in it. Uh, Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. A tape. Hope this holds. It should work now. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Careful, 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 careful. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Hold on to me. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are? The hell we are. You're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Ben. Oh god. Say something. Say something, Ben. Ben. Guys! There you go. There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Yeah, we do. Oh me! Cut! Cut! I thought I you said am. the smallest cut, but this is longer than when it's I first going. did it. Pull me up. Oh, jeez. Did he go? Shit! What the hell do we? What the god, this works! Holy crap! Okay, let's go. We gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Fine! You stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will! Good job, Omid. Ah! Oh, you didn't land right. Shit! Ah! Omid, get up, come on. Oh god. No, her, not me. Well, you're Krista, no! Leg. Fuck! No. You piece of shit. She's a woman, don't you know? Well, your leg was broken. Uh, She's a woman, don't you know what? It's okay, honey. I'm okay. He had a broken leg. I'm not. Like he couldn't have made it. That was a lot of them. Uh-huh. No. I'm not, but Omid okay. is. Speak for yourself. My leg is spot. Yeah, like come on, Lee. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. None of them are on fire. That's upsetting. She managed to fall asleep. Chair can't be very comfortable. Oh, she drew a picture, Kenny. Oh, and Katja and Duck, right? Next stop, the Atlantic. Yeah. We 
We'll find in Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Oh god. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, bitch. Not Clementine, whoever that is. Shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Mhm. Mm not good. Next time on The Walking Dead. Kingsway, Preacher Street. We're almost at the river. Preacher Street. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I will kill you! Next time, The Walking Dead Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Sweet, merciful death. Did you shoot the girl in the street? You and 60% of players did not shoot her. Left behind, did you abandon Lily? You and 55% of players did not leave her. Standoff, did you fight Kenny? You and 45% of players talked him down. Heavy burden, did you shoot Duck? You and 81% of players shot him. A helping hand, did you help Omid? You and 60% of players helped Omid. Help Omid with what? With, oh, helped Omid, like, jump off the train? Okay. Alright, well that was episode 3, A Long Road Ahead. I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it, and enjoy the credits. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.